Next, we are going to draw the orthographic projection of a pentagonal pyramid. Earlier also we had drawn a pentagonal uh, square pyramid. Now here we are going to draw a pentagonal pyramid. There is a small difference here. Now, in the question to said that we are having a pentagonal pyramid of side 30 mm, axis 70 mm. We have to place the pentagonal pyramid in such a manner that one of the corner touches picture plane. And the edge starting from this corner makes equal inclination with picture plane. So this total angle is 180 degree, one included angle of the pentagon is 108, so this angle will be 72. So you have to take half of 72 on either sides, okay, so mark B, take half of 72 on this side, take angle half of 72, take half of 72 here and then complete the pentagon. So you draw the top view here, as usually you draw the front view here, we will be getting A, B, C, D, O here, we will be getting A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and O dash here. And as usual, the distances are given. Station point is 80 mm in front of picture plane, 85 mm above the ground. And it is lying on a vertical plane that contains the axis. That means if I am having a vertical plane passing through the axis, the station point will be at that, that position. So we will be marking station point exactly in front of axis. And we will be marking a speed dash here. We will be proceeding as we have done in the previous cases. First join A, B, C, D, E and O to SP. Then join A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and O dash to SP dash. Okay, you can see the lamp lines are touching the picture plane at different points. This point, it is falling on line joining A and SP. So you project this point till line joining A dash and SP dash. So you will be getting capital A here. Similarly, next we will be projecting C. If I am projecting C, it will be falling somewhere here. Make sure. A and C are lying on the same horizontal line. In top view, A and C will be lying on the same horizontal line. So in perspective also, A and C should lie on the same horizontal line. Small b is touching picture plane. So this itself will be capital B. You need not mark it separately. And then you can mark E and D also. So from here, if I am projecting this point, I will be getting E. Projecting it to top view. So, so to perspective, we will be getting capital E here. And similarly, I can project this point, join that is containing D, I have to project it downwards, we will be getting D here. So first I have identified points A, B, C, D and E of perspective, 5 points. Now the problem with axis is, if I am joining SP to O, it is lying on this line itself and if I am projecting it downwards, I won't get a single point on this line. So in this case, what we have to do is, we have to go for the end view. For that, first what we have to do is, you draw just draw a vertical line somewhere on the left side of the figure. You just draw a vertical line somewhere on the left side of the figure. Then you project O, the apex horizontally till this vertical line. Now with this point as center, I am naming it again at O itself. With this point as center and this distance as radius, you rotate it. If you are rotating it, you will be getting a point here. Okay, so I have transferred this point here. Then I rotated it, I got it here. And then you transfer this point till ground line. I will be transferring this point till ground line and then here you mark the height of the solid that is 70 mm. Okay, so I will be marking the height of the solid here 70 mm. Next you join this point to a speed dash. I will be joining this dash to a speed dash and you can see that this line will touch the vertical line at a particular point. From here you draw a horizontal line till the vertical line. You will be getting a point here. This will be our apex in perspective. Okay, so for getting O, what I did was I projected O horizontally till this vertical line. I rotated it. I projected it till ground line. I marked the height of the solid here 70 mm. I joined this point to SP dash. This line will be touching the vertical line at a particular point. You project it horizontally till this vertical line will be getting O. And as usual, you join all the points. First, you have to join all the outermost lines. A, B will be dark. Then comes B, C. A, O, O, C, okay, and O, B also will be visible. This much lines will be visible. The base will be invisible, A, E will be invisible, A, D will be, in, E, D will be invisible, D, C will be invisible. Similarly, E, O and D, O also will be invisible. E, O will be invisible, D, O also will be invisible. So you will be getting a figure like this.